another video from Early Evil Beginnings. Today I want to show how to make your uh, your props. If you have an industrial type prop, you want to make it a nice heavy looking industrial prop with large bolts. But you don't want to be putting a bunch of heavy bolts into it. I'll show you how to do that. First, pick up a bolt nut. This is a 5 8 inch bolt nut. Got it at Home Depot. You'll need some non-hardening modeling clay. This came from Michael's craft store. It was, uh, I think, $2.99 for a one pound brick. You'll need uh, some fix-it odds patching compound. You want to pull off enough clay to make a, a nice size ball. A little bit bigger would probably be better, but this works just fine. Take your bolt. You want to run it back to where there's only maybe one and a half to two threads sticking through. Anything more than that, you may have trouble removing it from the clay. You want to push it into the clay, slowly, evenly. Like so. I press the clay around it so it's got a nice tight fit. And back the bolt out slowly just so that there's no thread stuck in the clay anymore then slowly remove and you get a nice nice form here using a couple of tablespoons maybe even less of this fix-it-all powder small amount of water You want to mix it so it's not a heavy paste. You want to be able to pour it so it thins okay. You've got some time to work with it. I make it about, I don't know if you can see that. It's probably about like a gravy thickness. And stirring it, you'll end up with some bubbles. But before you pour it into the mold, you want to tap out as many bubbles as you can. Just tapping it on the tabletop brings the bubbles to the to the top. You can blow it. Should release most of the bubbles. You want to get as many bubbles out as possible. And then just pour it into your mold. Pour it even to the top of the mold. And again, you want to tap it, make sure there's no bubbles in there. It's okay if it comes over the top a little bit. You can always trim it afterwards. And then just leave it sit. It should it should harden up enough to remove in an hour or two, maybe even a little bit less. But sometimes I just leave it just to make sure. And uh, you get a piece out that should represent your the nut and bolt pretty well. There's a little, there's some flaws in there, but that's okay. And then a quick coat of silver paint, metallic paint, or any color you want. And that's a nice base to start with. I intend to to rust it up after this. And that's all there is to it. And it's been about an hour and a half. These things should be okay. They should pop out just fine. Just peel the clay back.
there you go. And the little extra edges there, it's easy enough to clean off. I just use a, a sharp blade, it's very easy to break off or trim off. You can use sandpaper, just be careful, it's easy to over sand this. I just trim it a little bit. There you go. Here's the second one.